what kind of triangle is this? Well, I notice there's a right angle, which means this is a right triangle. A right triangle has three sides, and two of them are classified as legs. This is a leg, and this is a leg. The legs are the sides that make up the right angle. The third side is known as the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the side across from the right angle. It does not touch the right angle. In geometry, there's a very important relationship between the sides of a right triangle. We're going to learn a little bit more about how it works next term in geometry. But for now, we're going to practice using it. Here's the relationship. That if I take the measurement of the leg and I square it and I add it to the measurement of the other leg squared, it's going to equal the measurement of the hypotenuse squared. This is called the Pythagorean Theorem. So let's use algebraic terms to create the formula. I will call one of the legs A, the other leg is B, and the hypotenuse is always C. In this case, the relationship between A, B, and C is A squared plus B squared equals C squared known as the Pythagorean Theorem. This only works with right triangles. Let's try an example. Here we have a right triangle. First I need to identify which sides are the legs and which is the hypotenuse so I can plug it into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. 3 is one of my legs, 4 is another leg, and x is the hypotenuse. So we'll call 3 A and 4 B, but it doesn't matter which leg is A or which leg is B as long as the hypotenuse is always C. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals X squared. Now I'm going to evaluate the squares. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. Here we need to combine like terms. I see 9 and 16 can be added, so we'll get 25 is equal to X squared. But I don't want to know what x squared is. I want to know what x is. So how do I undo the square? Well, the inverse operation of squaring something is square rooting it. So we need to take the square root of both sides. When you square root x squared, the square root undoes the square and you're left with x on the right side of the equation. On the left side, What's the square root of 25? The square root of 25 is 5 because 5 squared is 25. Let's try another one. First identify which sides are the legs and which is the hypotenuse. 6 is one of my legs, x is another leg, and 10, the side across from the right angle, is the hypotenuse. So plug it in. 6 squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. Now I'm going to evaluate the squares. 36 plus x squared equals 100. Hmm, this one looks a little bit different because now my numbers are on both sides of the equation. So I need to get x squared by itself. I will subtract 36 on both sides. Now x squared is equal to 64. And to get rid of the square, I need to square root both sides. When you square root x squared, the square root undoes the square, and you're left with x on the left side of the equation. What's the square root of 64? That is 8. Let's identify which sides are the legs and which is the hypotenuse. 7 is a leg, x is a leg, and 10 is the hypotenuse. Remember, it doesn't matter which leg is A or which leg is B, as long as the hypotenuse is always C. So 7 squared plus x squared is equal to 10 squared. Let's evaluate the squares. 7 squared is 49. 10 squared is 100. Now I need to isolate x squared by subtracting 49 on both sides. I'll get x squared by itself. One more step, I just need to get x, not x squared. So to get rid of the square, I need to square root both sides. The square root undoes the square and I'm left with x on the left side. 
But square root 51, is that a perfect square? Or is it going to give me a decimal answer? Let's try it in the calculator. Square root of 51 is... 51 is not a perfect square, so the square root of it is a decimal, and we're going to round it to two decimal places, 7.14. Time to try one on your own. First identify which sides are the legs and which is the hypotenuse to substitute it into the Pythagorean theorem. X is a leg, 14 is a leg, and 22, the side across from the right angle, is the hypotenuse. When you substitute it in, you get 14 squared plus x squared equals 22 squared. Or yours could say x squared plus 14 squared equals 22 squared. It'll still get you the correct answer. Evaluate the squares. 14 squared is 196 and 22 squared is 484. You may need to use a calculator. Now I gotta get x squared by itself. So let's subtract 196 on both sides. x squared is 288. How do I undo the square? square root both sides. And now x is equal to 16.97. Use a calculator to square root 288 and round to two decimal places. Let's try one more on your own. My legs are 13 and 20, and x is the hypotenuse. So 20 squared plus 13 squared is x squared. When you evaluate the squares, you get 400 plus 169 equals x squared. When you combine like terms, you get 569 is equal to x squared. Now it's time to square root both sides. Square rooting undoes the square, and now you have just x on the right side. Square root of 569, rounded to two decimal places, is 23.85. And that is how we use the Pythagorean theorem to find a missing side length of a right triangle.